Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of us, we play in No Man's Sky. In VR! So let's jump on into games. Let's go and hit this up into game. I'll put on the headset. And this is with phobic rendering on, people. So, yes, I'm on one of my lush wells. So let's pick up the old joy pads. And here we go. Look at this, people. Now, this is a lot sharper. And the phobic rendering seems to be doing its thing. As long as you move slowly. Well, you can move fast in a straight line. You can even jetpack, which is all good. All good, yeah. The only time it becomes a problem for myself, motion-wise, is when I start to rotate. If I rotate slowly, that's all fine. Look, that's all good. If I go a little bit faster, look at that. It starts going blurry. Now, I think that is because the phobic rendering can't keep up with the speed of the turning. So everything at the sides goes into phobic mode and it goes quite pixely and it goes all kind of blurry. And if I go really fast like this, it's just a world of freaking Martian blurriness. I mean, you can kind of see the world, but I would imagine people with motion sickness right now have probably just thrown their stomach through a loop and probably chucked it into their lap. Now, as long as you're moving this sort of speed or slower, it's OK. When you go a little bit faster, it's almost like it's losing some frames, but it's not. I think it's the phobic rendering causing this issue. And another issue, check this out. There's my new magic wand. Isn't it magical? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it lovely? Isn't that emotion freaking jarring and breaking? Yeah, I mean, it says it's a two-handed multi-tool. It's not. Look, it goes through my other hand. <laughs> that's a magic wand and a half. So that's weld. It looks quite cool in a roundabout way, but it, it does, does it, actually? Let's, uh, let's go into the old quick menu. Boom. Into the quick menu. But I'll show you my other new multi-tool. My other new multi-tool is freaking fandangly awesome. Not that um, any of this actually really matters. So let's go, let's go over there and put this up. And um, yeah, that's the one I want. Okay, cool. That's the one I've got. Okay, cool. That's lovely. Let's go get that one out then. Look at that. Look at that. That's a freaking awesome multi-tool. Take that, plants. Yes, I love this multi-tool. This thing is freaking killer, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, again, it's not too, it's not too handy, uh, immersion breaking stuff. But it's, it's a multi-tool nonetheless, people, and it's a freaking lovely one, isn't it? I need to tool this thing up and get it all powerful, all singing, all dancing, you know. Anyway, all the bases are rendering fine. I mean, everything's rendering fine, and the distance draw is freaking great. It has been graphically enhanced and graphically improved to the point where, look at that! That is really super sharp. Oh, another thing is they haven't... You see, my head is connected to my body. That's fine. If I go to an appearance modifier and I change my appearance... Let's go up to the old Nexus and I'll show you firsthand of another bug inside of VR. I mean, they've obviously tested the new stuff because, look, I can see my new multi-tool. Anyway, let's put that away. Let's just um, let's go fly the ship. We don't want to take my own eye out. Look at this. This is freaking great, isn't it? Anyway, let's, uh, let's take this off. Huh? Take on off. Up into the sky I go. Yes. Pulse engines engaged. Hyperfrost. Brilliant. Day. Come out of hyperfrost. Quick menu. And I want the Nexus. Yes, put it there. Okay, we're going in. Let's just close that menu, because that's gonna be annoying otherwise. Go, go, go. And like the wind I fly. Okay, like the wind I don't. I'm just gonna have to go at this speed. You're having a freaking Jeffrey. That's gonna take me a year and a half to get there. I don't shoot it, Steve. Oh there we go. We've got some additional frost i forgot what button to press i haven't played vr for a while people um let's just uh let's just put these loops on my hands otherwise you might get some clickety clickety noises of them hitting against the plastic um i put my hand on back to front now oh, great i can't bloody see can i all right let's just not have those loops then i guess ah what way round of this black there you go that's on okay cool let's just get out of the ship and let's go to the appearance modifier. Where's the run button? Where's run? No, that's made me go invisible. I don't want to go invisible. Run, dang it. That's that's my jetpack. Where's the run button? Is it somewhere weird? Okay, that's invisible. I don't know how to bloody run. Oh, here we go. You press the hat stand in. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's go up here. Sweet. Run like the wind, Captain Steve. To the appearance modifier I go. Now, I have got a save preset for the robot. I think it's preset three so let's go into preset three preset three yes that's the one i want 
L2 to come out. Yes, save. Now look when I walk. Okay. Look at that. It makes my body go in front of my face. It makes my body go in front of my face. Is immersion breaking? 10.1. Yeah, that's um, maximum immersion breaking, isn't it? That's uh, not great, is it? It's not great at all. How you doing, Johnny Five? Look, I'm one of your people now. That's I'm um, going to hear. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. Can we unlock this one? We can. I haven't saved that yet. I've just got that one. We're on this one. And we're on oh, 25%. All right. Thank you, Johnny De Five. Well, you know, well, I think I better go and save that in my shippity ship now that I've got that new emote. But I think you get the idea. VR is a lot sharper, a lot nicer graphically. But it almost feels like they've traded off some of the immersion, obviously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a, a, a lot of el else. Oh, fudging heck. All right. Um, yeah, I want, I want in, mate. I want in. Yeah, let me... yeah, that's it. I'm in. Okay, cool. I'm in. And I'm just going to jump out to save the game. So, yeah, when you turn, it goes a bit blurry now, people. That's, that's kind of insane. I mean, it wasn't crystal clear when you turned before. But I can't remember whether it was this bad. It This feels bad to me. And I don't remember it being this bad before. Inside of here is not as bad. But on planets, you definitely notice it, people. And uh, I think it could make a few people a bit queasy, is what I'm saying. So, graphically, it's beautiful. I suppose if you put in quick turn or teleport, maybe that won't be an issue anymore. But on this free turn mode that I like using, it feels a little bit more... It's nice. Actually, it's quite smooth inside of the Nexus. It's down on the planets where I'm having a problem, people. But anyway, that's my assessment. Let's take this off. So we are, people. It's um, it's an odd one to actually explain. I think you have to do this yourselves and try it firsthand. But it's it's a little odd. Okay, all right. I don't know what I've done there. All right, fine. Let's go back to me. Let's make myself a little bit larger on the old screen, people. And, um, yeah, we get rid of the old... Uh, okay, we still got the green screen behind me, but that's all cool. Let's get rid of the game image. Right there, people. So, Fobe rendering, pretty darn sweet. It's made everything a lot sharper and a lot more awesome. The distance draw is fantastic. What isn't fantastic is when you're turning left and right, and if you're turning at speed, it's not as smooth as it once was, or perhaps it's so smooth now that it makes me feel a little bit queasy. Let us know. Sound up in the comments. Let me know if you're feeling the same way about this one, because it could just be me. Everybody's different, but at the same time, if you haven't bought PlayStation VR 2 and you're thinking of buying it to play No Man's Sky in PlayStation VR 2, you might want to take this into account. You might want to see a few other people doing reviews of No Man's Sky since the Vovayak rendering went in to see whether I'm alone on this. But um, for me, there's improvements and then there's setbacks as well. So there you go, that's my review of No Man's Sky in VR 2, people in the viewer of us. Until next time, salute to Mondo, take care, goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.